Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you. Yes, you. Thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, do me a favor and like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll let you know when I drop another video. So today what I want to do is actually set up the MPC 37 keys and a couple of dolls just to show you guys how to actually set it up. If you don't want to just use the MPC uh, as a standalone, you could actually use it as a controller inside of DAWs as well. So I'm going to show you a couple of DAWs that I actually use and show you how to get them set up inside those DAWs. Let's go. All right. So I do have the MPC 37 keys. Here's the overhead view. So what I'm going to do is actually turn it on. There's a power button in the back and you see it do a little nice little glow across the screen there. All right. And on the computer, I'm actually using the MPC, uh, like, MPC beats or the MPC software. So this is the key to actually getting everything to sync up and work correctly. You have to have the software actually turned on on the computer and ready to go. So that way, when you're using it in another DAW, you can just pull it up and use the keyboard and all the settings and features that you need, right? So that means the track wheel, that means your octaves will actually work. Uh, the play stop in the, your transport, they do not work. <laughs> so they don't work in any of the dolls that I've actually tried. Uh, if you guys do know a way to make the transport work in those other dolls, let me know. I've even tried it in Reaper to actually try to set the buttons itself. It does not recognize or read those buttons. So y'all guys let me know if uh, there's something else that I'm missing that may be able to get the transport to actually work in other dolls. All right, so let's get started. So while you're on the MPC, keys what you want to do is hold down shift and then hit this button here that says midi control right and it'll chart it'll change the screen and you'll be able to see a little different screen on here but if you look on the daw you'll actually see the npc keys set up on here so now you'll be able to control or use this as a midi controller in any of the daws that you want to use right the other way to do this is if you have like fl studio and you pull up the npc software inside the doll that way it'll actually connect this way as well but i think this way is a little bit easier so that way any doll that you pull up you just make sure you pull up this software first and then you'll be able to use it in any of the other software so let's go through the line all right so here we are in cakewalk and this is my dark theme if you're interested in this theme or my light theme i should have a link below in the description to get you to those themes but if it's not working email me let me know and I can send you those as well. First of all, I wanna make sure that everything is actually set up. So I'm gonna to go to my preferences and I'm gonna to go to devices. So right now, I'm gonna to go to right here to where it says MPC keys 37 public. This is the one that we want. This is for the inputs, then hit apply. All right, so now my MPC should be set up. Uh, like I was telling you guys, it doesn't work with the transport. So you might as well just use it for the keyboard and I remove the Mackie off of there. So now I should be able to play. Right. So if I record, right. So now we have MIDI in here. So yeah, so you can still use it as a controller to kind of control things. So if I wanted to, your pinch bin still works. So if you change your octaves, right? So your transport still works as well. So the majority of things still work. You just can't really use your transport for like your play, stop and record. But let's move on to another DAW. All right, so here I am in FL Studio and I do have themes for this as well. Uh, you have to go to my Discord in order to actually get these themes. I have two themes for this one as well. Uh, so if you go up to your options and you go to MIDI settings, click on that. What you want to do 
is find the MPC keys, which is right here, this public one, and make sure it's enabled. So if it's not enabled, it won't work. So make sure it's enabled. And that's pretty much all you have to do for FL Studio. As long as the MPC is open in the background, you should be able to still use this. So let's actually get a sound, trusty dusty FL keys. And of course the play and stop don't work on here either. Uh, but the transpose does work. Right. And your, your pitch bin and mod wheel still work on here as well. So those are the things that you can use. Basically you're just using this as a controller. So that's what you can use it for in FL studio. So let's move on to another doll. All right, so here we are in Ableton Live. This is Ableton 11, I do not have 12, but uh, it should still be the same principle in setup options. And then you wanna go to preferences, All right? And inside of preferences, you wanna go to, to the MIDI and make sure that your MPC public is actually checked. And then when you go inside of Ableton, I just put on a piano on here. Make sure you have your record enabled. Right, so now you have an option to do this inside of Ableton as well. So you can do, do your, right, your transpose. So those things do work inside of Ableton as well. So let's move on to the next DAW. All right, so here we are in Reaper and this theme is called Reaper Tips. Uh, so let's see if we can get something set up in here. So usually what you want to do is go to your preferences, right? And once you're in preferences, you're going to go to MIDI input. And what you want to do is look for the MPC keys public. So you want the MPC keys 37 public and make sure you hit on these, the input, they're all in the control. So that way you can actually get it to recognize inside of Reaper. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Once you click on those, you should be able to use it as a regular MIDI controller. So I'm going to go in, get a virtual instrument real quick. And let's just do a keys on classic. It's a little easier for me to do this in Reaper. Boom. So here we are keys on classic. So now we have, right. And of course your track wheel and your transpose work. So as you can see, it's pretty much all you have to do is make sure you have the MPC software set up in the background or turned on basically just so that the controller will recognize the computer. That's kind of how they made it to and configured it to be not hundred percent sure why they did it that way, but this has been the way that I found to do it. Like I said, the other way would be if I was to add MPC right into here. So if I did like a, just a straight NPC inside here, this is what you would want to do, right? So that would be the way to actually do it inside of the doll. All right, so let's move on to another doll. All right, so here we are in Bitwig Studio. So it's pretty much the same kind of setup. You just got to make sure you get to your settings. You can go to your settings. And what we want to do is look for controllers. You can do a hit add on controller. Let's go MIDI keyboard and hit add. And then what you want to do is go down to MPC 37 public. And now you have a MIDI controller or keyboard set up for Bitwig, right? So let's see if we can add an instrument. All right, so now. And you have pitch wheel. So now you have that set up inside of Bitwig as well as a controller. So let's move on to the next doll. All right, so here we are in traction waveform. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of set one up real quick. 
All right, so here we are in traction waveform. So what I want to do is make sure the settings are correct. So you go up here to settings and once you're in settings, you want to go to, you want to go to where it says MIDI devices. And once you're on MIDI devices, you'll see that you have this one. It'll usually automatically recognize it. So this MPC keys 37 public is already on here as an input, All right? So if we go back to the project, let's add a instrument. So now, so All right, so you have that option to put use this as a mini controller inside of traction waveform as well, just by setting that up really quickly inside there. So let's move on to the last DAW. All right, so here we are in Cubase, and usually in Cubase is pretty easy to set stuff up. So usually you just go up here to where it says Studio, click on that, and you want to go to Studio Setup, and then you just want to make sure that your MIDI port settings is on here, and make sure that we have the MPC keys uh, public, make sure the public one is actually checked and active. And that's pretty much all you need from here. Um, and then you should be able to just add an instrument. So we can right click in here, let's add an instrument track. And what's cool about Cubase, it'll give you an option to kind of use the last settings that you have. So the MPC keys is already set up as the MIDI input and I can just hit add track. So now we have expand here and I'm going to see if we can find a regular keyboard or piano. So I'm gonna go to acoustic pianos and let's go to the first one, which would be the natural grand, right? Right. So you have Right, and all those same things do work. The transport still does not work though. You, there's no transport, right? So this is how you would actually use it inside a Cubase for the MPC Keys 37, just to use it as a MIDI controller. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of this video as well. If you have, definitely leave a thumbs up for the video. Make sure you're liking and subscribing to the channel. Uh, this is just to show you guys that you can actually still use the MPC key 37 as a MIDI keyboard. You don't have to use it as a standalone. You can use it as a MIDI keyboard in any DAW that you actually have set up on your computer. And I think that's really cool and very beneficial if you are a person that uses a whole bunch of different DAWs like me. So with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys really enjoy it, like I said. And once again, it's your boy, x.e.l.o. Until next time, people, peace.